Samsung made all Galaxy fans happy by exclusively using a Snapdragon processor in the Galaxy S23 series. Thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, the S23 series offered the best performance and battery life ever seen in Galaxy S series smartphones. However, the company still plans to bring back the Exynos processor with the S24 lineup. News about the device has been pouring in from left, right, and center. It was recently reported that the Ultra could offer fewer cameras and will pack a much faster GPU than the iPhone 15. The latest report hints that Samsung is bringing some car tech on board to provide improved battery life with the S24 Ultra, and it could have more RAM and storage too. According to reports from South Korean media, Exynos could make a spectacular comeback to the Galaxy S lineup with the S24. Apparently, not using Exynos chips in the S23 series gave little negotiating power to Samsung. And as a result, the company had to spend 49.9% more on buying chips in 2022 compared to the previous year. The report claims that Samsung decided to up the base RAM and storage with the S24. The base and plus variant will reportedly feature 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs storage, while the Ultra could feature 16 gigs RAM. The company can manage to do this without increasing the price of the S24 series compared to the Galaxy S23 by reducing the acquisition cost of processors, and it can achieve that by bringing Exynos to the fold and negotiating a better deal from Qualcomm. Apparently, Samsung Foundry's Fornum fabrication process has improved a lot since its initial days, so the performance of the 10-core Exynos 2400 could be a lot better than the Exynos 2200 that was used in the Galaxy S22. An industry insider claimed, with the stabilization of Samsung Electronics' 4 nano foundry process yield, there are positive reactions to the performance of the Exynos 2400 from inside and outside the company. Meanwhile, S24 Ultra may law of longer battery life with Samsung's new Stax cell tech. The company has reportedly teamed up with two Chinese firms to develop stack type batteries for smartphones. It allows for about 10% higher capacity in a similar size package. The stacking technology is already used in the manufacturing of batteries for electric vehicles. Samsung SDI, the department that develops and manufactures lithium-ion batteries, could be planning to apply capacity increase technology used in their electric car cells and put it inside the Galaxy smartphones and tablets. This stacking method tightly stacks battery components like cathodes and anodes for better energy density. If this all goes well, we'll surely get a massive improvement in terms of battery performance compared to last-gen models. It would be a nice surprise for Samsung to be ahead of the curve with offering more default storage. This would ideally not cost users any extra money over previous generations of Galaxy S phones. With every S23 costing a little more than the equivalent Galaxy S22, the last thing we want is a price hike two years running. If more storage isn't exciting you, then fortunately there are more Galaxy S24 rumors to get invested in even though it's at least another nine months or so until the likely launch period. In addition to a storage bump, we could see higher default RAM on all models, a hybrid telephoto camera on the Ultra model that can cover both 3x and 10x zoom levels and increased GPU performance. So, what are your thoughts on this new stacked battery technology? Let us know your valuable thoughts below in the comment section, and if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.